Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And this series will be based on the Witcher 3 expansion, Blood and Wine. I had never played a Witcher game before the third one, but I really ended up liking them. And now I've read several of the Witcher books and uh, completed the main game and the Hearts of Stone expansion. I'm level 40, and the difficulty is set to Death March. Envoys and wine boys. Look for a new contract on notice boards in Bellin. Oh, it looks like all my notes got uh, reset. Let's see. It just says... Oh, there's a contract on all these notice boards. They must be posted in all of them. All right, well, uh, looks like the closest is the Seven Cats Inn. As you can see, I've got uh, the Viper armor and the Professor sunglasses on for Geralt here. Uh, it looks so different than what I was used to with Dark Souls. The closest notice board is the Seven Cats Inn. So we'll just do a quick cut, and uh, I'll see you guys there. Mm. Ruckus. Drinking. Some guy named Odrin. Some wedding band. wonder if that's related to the, uh, the wedding from Hearts of Stone. Kitchen guy. Oh, Geralt of Rivia. That seems to be me. Let's take that. Uh, R3 Reed. Okay. Let's see. Appeal to Geralt of Rivia. The bridge is crest. Geralt of Rivia. At the behest of our merciful sovereign, her illustrious grace, Anna Henrietta, we have journeyed to the northern realms to lay before you our mission. A terrible monster has appeared in the Duchy of Tucson. A beast that has committed heinous crimes against her grace's subjects. Only the most famous among witchers has the ability to destroy the beast. Thus we humbly beseech you to appear in the village of Holloway, where we shall await you in full hope that you will deign to hear of our woes and liberate our land from the clutches of fear. Your humble servants, Palmerin de Lanfal and Milton de Peyrac Peyrin, knights in the service of her grace and the duchy. Uh, what's this? Orders from Hammond. Next time, I gotta make sure to visit the Shrine of the Hill and make an offering before setting out. The God's favor, that's what matters most. So if I cut... Oh, wait, that's, uh... That's a note for a very, very old quest. Never mind. Alright, well, uh... Now that we've read the note... Let's head to the uh, the place on the map. Huh, Stonecutter Settlement. Also, that mini map in the corner. That wasn't there before. Alright, let's head there. Sir Knights, leave us be, we beg. We ain't in need of no help. You have suffered enough, Planter. Enough rape. Fear not, for we shall oh, spare the blood of outlaws. To you we grant liberation. Liberation? Be the witch, man. Geralt of Rivia. Ha! Sit with us, Witcher. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin, I told you, the griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Peyrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. Be assured, we share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut. 
as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison had left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Huh. Well. Alright. I'm never going to turn down a potential quest. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmaron wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. Rogues to arrive, huh? Are coming. Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. Cat licking his butt. Ooh, cat doesn't like it. Alright, I feel a little bit better if the cat doesn't like him. I feel like I'm doing the right thing. Where are these guys? <laughs> Garrus just leaning on the water tower. You know. <laughs> he mean us. I, Palmerin de Lonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores. Abandon the path of shame. And we will spare you. <laughs> Girl, old SMH in the background. Right, could jest that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off while we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, hey, wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like? Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts. <laughs> Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. There's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's a feared of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot oh, let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron you will pay with your own blood. By the crane, villains, ready your arms. Right, me numbers to work! That thing is over It's been so long, I don't even... I fucking remember it, that's weird. Aw, oh, see him dead. <laughs> oh, man. Let's try that again. 
Oh, that's right. I've got uh, I've got oils for my sword. I can put on the uh, anti-human oil. Ah, I should turn off his tutorials. Wow, that looks very different than I'm used to. My name is the Milton de Perestere! What you say? I know Quinn doesn't work that well against humans. Yeah, I chose... I chose Jennifer. That counts as a witch fucker. Hey, I like Yen. Not goat. Well, okay, I like goats too, but not that way. Not in that way. So you see, my uh, my adrenaline points are all full up, but I gotta admit, I actually never learned how to use them. Ah, oh, fine, I'll use. Ah. Give on to us. Best way to get rid of people with shields, burn them off. Alright, I'm starting to get back into it, I think. There we go. Might have to practice some battles off camera. Why do they not emerge? It is over. We have banished the Scantros, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ugh, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. Hmm. What's their message? Brings you such a long way. We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition it is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star Cross City's most gracious protectress, Her Illustrious Highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? You know, I want to point out. Geralt is one sarcastic son of a bitch. Anna Henrietta really say all that? Word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. 
Only make certain this time he comes alone. <laughs> the Ducal alone. Chamberlain <laughs> added the rest. You know how it is. Yeah, I remember. I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Uh-oh. Let's find out a little more about what's going on here. Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites of the feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Servants all about the house. Guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town Portal, square, maybe? and killed him there. No one saw, nor heard, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it mm. cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Anyone tried to hunt it? Knight's Errand, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. Looks a little bit like Slender Man, actually. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. Before an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Well, I guess there's only one thing we can do then. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You I don't know, that one with Siri came out already. Uh, no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, demanding. <laughs> so you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Tucson. To Tucson! Kind of looking forward to a new area. Toussaint, the land of love and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. Do you insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the Heron!
Oh, that guy's, uh... That guy's trouble. So, of course, he rides forward right away. Yep. Oh man. I kill a monster. that all about big beast tackling it single-handed none too wise neither is love born of wisdom witcher so guillaume out with it rich fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth the most beautiful among them if he wishes to guard her name a secret he need not reveal it you I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. Okay, that guy sounds more like French-Canadian. <sighs> a giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this... The Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. Hey, I just noticed that uh, Geralt's beard is... Uh much fuller now than in the previous scene because they traveled. <laughs> I'll take touches. the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien de la Tour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Well, I always thought his knife looked uh, a little too modern. All right, guys. Follow Milton to the place where the body was found. Alright guys, I'm going to take a short break and then we'll be right back.